What's up everybody, Jason Page here and welcome back to another light painting video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this image right here. First and foremost, if you're new here, please do consider subscribing to the channel and joining in our light painting community. We've got a great group of people here on Instagram and over on Facebook uh, that share all kinds of inspiring ideas and techniques and just all kinds of stuff related to photography, light painting, long exposure photography, just all kinds of different creative stuff. So if you are a creative individual or you like creativity in general, please do consider subscribing to the channel and joining in our community. We would love to have you be a part of it. All right, so the image that I'm creating tonight is a bit complicated. So it's definitely on the uh, more advanced side. It's not really a beginner uh, light painting, I would say. Uh, again, anybody can do this. It just, this is, there's a lot of moving parts to this one. The tools that I'll be using tonight to create this image are from, as always, light painting brushes. I'll be using the color hoods. I'll be using the orange and the blue color hood. I'll also be using the screw on color filters with the fiber optics. I'll be using the blue and the purple uh, fiber optics and the green screw on color filter, the purple screw on color filter and the blue screw on color filter. I'll also be using the black fiber optic in this one. And as with the last video that you guys may have seen, I've taken some gels and put them down into the end of the black fiber optic here. This one gives like a fiery effect. It is the orange, yellow, and red gels just shoved down into the end there. And then also I have another one that has just some purple and blue gels put down into the end. I call this one uh, like this one here. As you can see, uh, this is basically my fire and ice. That's what I call these. I will also be using the white light pen attachment for this one, along with one of Frank's lights from Light Excursion. The flashlights that I'll be using are the Soonfire DS30 flashlight, the Coast G26 flashlight. All of these tools are connected to my light sources using the Light Painting Brushes Universal Connector. Links to all the tools as well as Frank's light will be down in the description of this video. This technique is very similar to the last video that I did with the kaleidoscope and the cutout of the eye. I'll be using the sheet here as my canvas. So in the last video, we did a cutout of an eye and then we used a kaleidoscope to put the eye in the center of the kaleidoscope and make this crazy effect going around it. For this image, what I've done is created a cutout of a sailboat. And I've done the same thing to it. I printed it out on some sticky back paper and then I just colored it in with a marker, cut out all the white space and then uh, spray painted it black so that it's nice and thick so that when it's attached to the sheet, the light doesn't shine through it. In the last video, we used the kaleidoscope, which came out super cool. In this video, I'm gonna use something completely different. I'm gonna use, ready for this? Gotta be careful with it. Cotton, look at that. It's like quilt stuffing or pillow stuffing. What this is gonna do, this looks so cool when you illuminate it. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to use this to create this like cloud effect in the image. And what I have it on here is a music stand. And this particular music stand has these holes in the back of it. So when I take this light and illuminate from down here, I can illuminate the cotton from underneath and it looks really cool. It gives this really very interesting texture and just the way the light plays on the cotton is super cool. I ordered this online, but I think you can get it at pretty much any craft store. Uh, I'll put a link to this down below as well. I'm gonna be adding this cotton into the image to create this like cloud effect that we're gonna have. It's, it's something really cool, I really like it. I think you guys are gonna love this. The camera that I'm shooting this on is the Canon 6D Mark II using the Sigma 24 to 105 lens. The settings that I'm using for this image are ISO 100 F8 shooting on bulb mode. I'll be using this little uh, wireless shutter release to trigger the camera. The exposure time on this, it's gonna take a little while. So we're talking maybe a four or five minute exposure time. I'm gonna show you guys how I create this image with the lights on. And uh, 
I'll show you the setup of it, and then we'll go ahead and turn the lights off and actually run through one and create an image, all right? So the first thing that I'm doing is taking this cotton that's on the music stand, and I'm putting it literally right up against the camera here, right up against the lens, like so. And I'm actually turning and focusing on the cotton itself, so the cotton is gonna be what's in focus here. And I'm only illuminating the, this top portion of the cotton because I want this to be like the sky, of the image, I'm not really doing anything down here at the bottom, just mainly the top. So what I'm doing is just coming in and illuminating from underneath using the color hoods, the blue and the orange. And then I'm gonna move the cotton out of the way of the camera like so. I'm gonna actually go onto the camera here and change the focus so that this is now focused on the sheet back here and where I have the sailboat here. And then I'm gonna go back around behind the sheet and use the light pen and the fiber optics to illuminate the boat and the entire scene that we're gonna create here. And I'll take you around back there and show you what I mean. All right, we're around the backside of the sheet now. Camera is on the opposite side. We've got the sailboat that's just stuck onto the sheet here. It's all painted in black so that the light won't shine through it when we're illuminating it. And it's gonna create a nice silhouette on the opposite side of the sheet. The first thing that I'm gonna do is use the white light pen. And I'm just gonna trace the bottom here and make it look like, kinda like the sailboat has been going through the water, just illuminating like this. I'm pointing the light directly towards the sheet so that the camera on the other side will pick up this trace of light, like so. Then I'm taking the black fiber optic with the gels on the bottom like that. And I'm just gonna illuminate around the boat like so, and just trail off like that. Again, giving that effect that the boat has been kind of going through the water. For the bottom kind of ocean scene, I'll be using the purple fiber optic with the blue screw on color filter. And I'm just gonna be doing this effect right here all over the sheet, all in the bottom, but staying down below where the boat itself is to create this effect, the kind of oceany water effect. And then I'll be also using the blue fiber optic with the green screw on color filter, like that. And I'll be using that one, same thing, kind of going around the bottom here, like this, just adding a little more color and texture to the bottom. And then just to add a little more into the sky up here, I will be using the blue fiber optic with the purple screw on color filter. And just kind of going through, adding a little texture to the sky. I'm gonna do a lot more of the fiber optics down here on the bottom because remember, we're gonna have the cloud effect up here from the cotton. One more little fiber optic one I'm gonna use is the, again, the black fiber optic. And this one is just the fiery effect. And I'll add a little of that into the sky as well. I know there is a lot going on with this image, but it's coming out really cool. So I just wanna share it with you guys and share the process of how this is actually happening. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and run through an image now. I'll tell you which tool I'm using while I'm using it, and we're gonna go ahead and start the exposure now. The settings that I'm using are ISO 100, F8, and shooting on bulb mode. Should be about a three, four minute exposure, something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and start the exposure now. I am using the uh, Soonfire DS30 flashlight, universal connector, and the orange color hood to start. As you can see how cool that looks. There we go. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of the blue here. I'm not gonna just kind of stick to one side with this because it's gonna blend the color really cool. All right, so the cotton is illuminated. Now I'm moving that out of the frame. I'm going to change the focus on the lens here. It's gotta go to about the two foot mark. Now I'm gonna go grab my fiber optics and the white light pen. The first thing that I'm gonna do is use the white light pen to create kind of a line of light and make it look like the ship has been cutting through the water here. Just think, you know, if this ship had kind of moved through the water, what would it look like in the water? 
Now I'm using the black fiber optic with the Coast G26 flashlight attached to the universal connector. And this has a purple and blue gel kind of down in the bottom. And what I'm gonna do here is illuminate the boat itself to bring out that silhouette and then just kind of add to that effect that it had been, you know, kind of cutting through the water here. This white should kind of give that, that effect. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna start creating the watery ocean at the bottom. I'm using the purple fiber optic with the blue screw on color filter. The flashlight is a Soonfire DS30 and as always using the universal connector to connect everything. With this, I'm kind of just doing pretty random brush strokes. The only thing that I'm trying to do is stay below where I think the water line should be in this image uh, and go right around the boat there. Just kind of stay down here at the bottom. I'm gonna switch out and I'm gonna use the purple fiber optic with the green screw on color filter. Just gonna add a little bit here into the scene just to add a little more color into the water. And I'm gonna do more on this side here because I feel like, you know, if the had boat had come through here and kind of turned up the water a little bit, it might be a little more color and action on this side here. All right. Now I'm gonna be using the purple screw on color filter with the blue fiber optic. And this is just gonna to be to kind of blend the fiber optic together, but also just add a little more color and texture into the sky here. I'm not gonna be doing as much with this one up in the sky, but I will be doing a lot around the boat to kind of bring out that silhouette. And also, you know, I, the clouds from the cotton should give like a stormy sky effect. And I think this should really add to that stormy feel up in the sky there. All right, now I'm gonna be doing the same thing with the other black fiber optic that has the orange and red gels in the bottom of it to create kind of like that fiery effect. Also just kind of doing this sporadically in the sky to create some cool texture and light. I like to think, you know, maybe the boat kind of ran into something there and, or the light's kind of reflecting off of it. And there you have it. Now I just gotta find where I put the remote for the trigger and we'll stop that exposure and see what it looks like. Let's see. All right, and there you go. And that came out pretty cool. Zoom in and see it there, yeah. All right, that came out pretty rad. If you guys like the video, please do hit the thumbs up button. What that thumbs up button does, it's not just saying, hey, good job. What it does is it tells YouTube, hey, this is cool content and you should show it to other people. And when YouTube shows it to other people, we never know who we can inspire. If you are a light painter, you know that it is magic. You know how much joy it brings to your life. You know how therapeutic it can be. You know just what a great art form it is and how inclusive the light painting community is and how everybody comes together. We wanna build that in the world and just get more of that, more of, you know, people coming together, people helping each other, just more of the positivity that light painting brings to the world. We really want more of that and a simple act of hitting that thumbs up button down below can really help more people see light painting. Maybe it brings someone new to the community. Maybe we inspire the next great light painter. So again, please do, if you like it, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna do the same thing with the image that I created in this video that I did in the last video. And that is, I am going to do a limited edition run of 10 prints on this one. And uh, if you want one, there'll be 20 bucks. It's gonna be an eight by 10 print. I'll put the link down in the description of this video. So if you would like a print, pick it up down at the link below. Thank you guys very much for watching. As always, I greatly appreciate the support. And until the next video, Get out there and get creative.